Welcome, everyone. Thanks for uh, taking the time in your afternoon to join today. Uh, before I begin, I wanted to uh, start with a couple of uh, very quick housekeeping tips. Uh, the first of which is uh, throughout the presentation today, we'll be taking your questions uh, via the chat feature. We'll be getting to those questions uh, toward the end of the presentation, uh, but did want to uh, mention that and ensure that uh, throughout the presentation you feel free to enter in any of your questions uh, throughout. Secondly, uh, I did want to just acknowledge uh, many folks I suspect on the phone may be familiar with our Dragon Naturally Speaking product, which is our product in the consumer space. And uh, Dragon Law Enforcement is actually a very different product uh, based on the unique needs of the law enforcement community. So we're going to switch here to uh, our agenda. Okay. So uh, we're going to start by talking a little bit about uh, Nuance and our entry into the law enforcement sector uh, and what uh, has been unique uh, uh, in the law enforcement community and from a documentation standpoint, particularly focused in on some of the challenges in incident reporting. Uh, we'll speak to why Dragon is a better approach uh, specifically to the incident reporting process. Uh, I'll introduce you to Dragon Law Enforcement and discuss why that uh, is Dragon is a purpose-built uh, product for the law enforcement community, and then bring you through a live demonstration and, as I mentioned, a quick Q&A from there. So why is Dragon Law Enforcement a better approach to incident reporting? So as we went out uh, and did our research when we launched Dragon, um, we really came across three main concerns that law enforcement officials had uh, in the process. And it really came down to uh, incident reporting is time consuming, it is inefficient, and it can create risks for officer safety uh, and omnipresence in the community. And if you look at this, uh, we call this by our by the numbers slide. It really comes down to uh, time uh, that is spent creating that report end to end. So whether it's the two hours an officer may spend creating uh, from the creation of an incident report all the way through filing it, uh, the 45% of the workday that a sergeant may be spending on administrative tasks, including documentation, or even a customer uh, mid-sized police department that was spending $96,000 a year uh, outsourcing transcription to, a, to an outside agency, the numbers really do add up and candidly result in a number of, result in a number of challenges for law enforcement. Uh, top among them is that officers, as they are going through that process, particularly if they are uh, using an MDT in their patrol vehicle, uh, they may be heads down typing in a report manually into the RMS. Uh, there's a lot of time that may be spent if they're not uh, handling the report within the patrol vehicle, they may be back at the station. And a lot of time is spent with handwritten notes and officers uh, typically are being dispatched from one call or one incident call to another and that can result in backups and a situation where uh, incident reports may be uh, entered at a later time using handwritten notes, uh, potentially even uh, from memory, all of which uh, takes up an enormous amount of time. And if they're back at the station, uh, officers are not out in the community and omnipresent. From a regulatory compliance standpoint, uh, there are new new regulations uh, such as NIBRS from the from the FBI that are increasing that uh, documentation burden on police officers, and of course none of the challenges associated with meeting the the deadlines and the court uh, required mandates uh, abate just because of the new compliance. So the the resource times and constraints continue to be very real. All of which, of course, results in outsourced. Uh, increased excuse me, uh, costs and reliance on administrative and outsourced services. So before we jump in any further, you know, why use Dragon Law Enforcement? And I thought it would make sense to pause here for a moment and, and really uh, just reflect on a quote from uh, the 2016 IACP president and former Wellesley Police Chief Terrence Cunningham. And it really speaks to why it was nuance 
uh, came into the market in the problem, one of the major problems that we help solve, uh, specifically around the idea of uh, technology in today's patrol vehicles and the, uh, while technology can be extremely helpful, the possibility of creating distractions and using uh, speech recognition is one way to help cut down on those distractions uh, so that officers can stay heads up and situationally aware. So as we proceed throughout the presentation, I ask that you keep this quote in mind because it really speaks to one of the reasons, one of the main reasons that we created Dragon Law Enforcement. So why is this a better approach uh, to incident reporting? It really comes down again to these three areas, uh, improving the uh, report management and compliance that gets created, increasing officer safety when out in the field, and enhancing uh, police omnipresence and uh, freeing up time, candidly, for community policing initiatives. If you look at the ability of an officer to, to speak a report as opposed to typing it, you can speak up to three times faster uh, with extremely high accuracy when you dictate, and we'll show that to you in a moment. You can do that in even very noisy environments where there's a lot of ambient noise uh, using one of our uh, microphones. We call it a Power Mic 3, and we'll show you an example of what that looks like. Uh, report accuracy goes way up, and, and the immediacy that's captured within reports, because now an officer, instead of having to type that report, they can now speak that report, and they tend to capture richer, more detailed reports uh, as a result. This helps in expediting the completion of reports and, and helps cut down on reliance on outsourced uh, transcription uh, services as well. From an officer safety standpoint, we've heard the story many times from clients that sometimes an officer may be heads down, uh, uh, hunched over their MDT typing up a report, it may be a citizen comes up and raps on the window and looking for directions. That could be very startling, and obviously, uh, from an officer's point of view, uh, you know, can can potentially create a danger. Even you know, in a situation where it's only as innocent as a, a citizen looking for directions. But with Dragon Law Enforcement, that officer net can now be heads up and very situationally aware. Uh, they can also perform common lookup tasks such as uh, CGIS license plate lookup, and I'll show you an example of what that looks like momentarily. From the standpoint of enhancing uh, omnipresence and community, uh, time for community policing initiatives, again, this is time that's returned to police officers uh, today, not spending time in reports uh, and, and really freeing up time to be in the community and not back at the station. So why is Dragon Law Enforcement uh, a product that we call purpose-built for the law enforcement community? Uh, I obviously won't read this slide here to you, but uh, the headline here is essentially uh, Dragon was built with the needs of law enforcement in mind. So whether that is uh, unique words and phrases and vocabulary that's been built into, uh, into Dragon, we've included uh, language makes and models uh, for most uh, all cars and trucks so that you can now speak those and Dragon will instantly uh, understand those makes and models uh, right away. Even things like incorporating uh, uh, U.S., Canadian, and Mexican states and provinces as well. We've had reports of officers, if they pull somebody over, they may get a license that has somebody that's from Canada or from Mexico, Dragon understands the Canadian states and Mexican, pro excuse me, Canadian provinces and Mexican states as well. Uh, and even things like uh, a list of profanity that unfortunately officers have to hear uh, is part of their job every day. So we've built 450 plus words uh, of profanity into Dragon law enforcement as well as support uh, for the NATO phonetic alphabet, uh, so you would say Wisco, Tango, Charlie, uh, et cetera, Dragon understands that. From a productivity standpoint, we spoke about the idea of how you can speak now and get those reports done more efficiently and more effectively because you can speak three times faster than you can type. Uh, your, your ability now to do things like look up license plates is greatly enhanced as well. Um, and it's also important to note that Dragon today uh, has a, a what we call a dynamic profile. 
that follows that officer from patrol vehicle to patrol vehicle. So as officers switch vehicles, they can log out on their MDT of Dragon. They can switch vehicles, get to the new, uh, get to the new patrol vehicle, and sign back in, and Dragon follows them. So it's very portable and moves with the officer. Uh, officer uh, satisfaction, we've spoken about safety, but most police officers obviously did not get into policing to be spending time on paperwork. So we hear uh, great levels of increased satisfaction in, in, in their job because now they're focused on doing what they really want to do, which is being engaged with their community and active police work. Uh, from a return on investment standpoint, uh, it's not just about the dollars and cents that may be saved on outsourced transcription or maybe overtime if it's being done in-house. Uh, it's also this idea of we're increasingly hearing about, uh, we talk about med mitigating reputational risk. And, and by that uh, is everyone on the phone today uh, surely knows every citizen with a cell phone and a social media account uh, is a publisher in effect. Uh, and oftentimes encounters with law enforcement uh, that are captured on cell phone may not be an accurate representation uh, or a full representation of that encounter. And so the idea of being able to capture an incident details uh, in, in great, uh, with great specificity and great immediacy and to have that available instantly really helps build trust uh, both within the community and within the courts should an incident ever arise to become a, a high profile incident. So ROI can be thought of again, not just from a dollars and cents standpoint, but also in, uh, in the reputation and the brand of the, of the police department within the community. So I mentioned uh, earlier about uh, uh, our PowerMic product. You see a representation of it here on the right-hand side of the screen. Um, we tend to sell PowerMics. Uh, this is an integrated microphone and mouse in one device. Um, and it's sold as, as an integral part of the Dragon law enforcement product. Uh, it is a very rugged product uh, built for the daily on-the-job abuse and to withstand that. Uh, it features a push-to-talk capability that's very uh, familiar to law enforcement, and it's an integrated mouse and uh, microphone all in one device. It plugs right in via USB to the MDT, um, automatically installs uh, all of the drivers that are necessary, uh, and, and is available uh, immediately for the officer to use in the vehicle to fluidly interact with their MDT as well as used uh, for dictation. Uh, the, the power mic can also be used, the buttons on it are assignable, and those buttons can be used uh, to do things like navigate fields or to execute uh, custom commands uh, that the uh, IT administrator may have assigned to, to those individual buttons. So uh, we do typically integrate the power mic within the Dragon law enforcement solution. And finally, uh, we've been focusing mostly on the patrol officer today, and that's certainly a very, you know, primary uh, use for Dragon. But it's important to note how Dragon law enforcement uh, actually scales across the department. And the key takeaway here is that small efficiencies that may be gained by an individual officer when scaled across the entire police force uh, really add up to very big gains in productivity and efficiency. And again, it's not just the uh, patrol officers that are using Dragon. We have detectives that are using Dragon today uh, that they use it to transcribe their own notes, whether it's taking a witness statement uh, or, a vic or a victim statement uh, as well, all of which can now be transcribed. Uh, very often that's done in Microsoft Word and can be easily copy and pasted uh, into the RMS. Records management personnel benefit because when Dragon is deployed uh, department-wide, reports tend to come in with greater detail, greater specificity, uh, and generally speaking, greater standardization as well. Uh, so records management personnel really benefit when uh, a uniform command is assigned, and I'll show you what that looks like. This is something we refer to as an auto text, which is essentially issuing a, a one-word command uh, to do things like uh, create a form that will be instantly displayed on screen. 
Uh, and then finally, your IT admin staff uh, using our Nuance Management Center, which is uh, essentially the way that uh, at an enterprise level, Dragon can be managed, uh, licenses can be added, assigned, and changed. Uh, this really helps from an administration standpoint uh, as, as department-wide uh, commands and standards are enforced. The other thing that the new with the Nuance Management Center that you can do is take a look at the individual usage patterns uh, of each officer. And this really helps from the standpoint of identifying training needs and, and ultimately demonstrating uh, ROI. You may have a particular power user as an example, and then at the next staff meeting, that officer, uh, you may want to highlight that officer and have uh, he or she show the rest of the department how they're using Dragon and how it is that they're uh, really increasing the productivity in their day. So with that said, what I'd like to do is I would like to get into a live demonstration. Uh, we're going to use a what we refer to as a, as a mock RMS, if you will, that we use for webinars, but it'll give you a good sense of creating an incident report. Great. So uh, hopefully everyone can see a Google page uh, at the moment. And before we get started, what I wanted to do was just point out what uh, the Dragon uh, interface looks like. And at the very top here, you'll see you'll see our Dragon bar. And right now, if you look at the bar, I'm, I'm moving my cursor over it. You'll see there's a microphone in the center. That microphone is currently red. That means that Dragon is not listening to my commands right now. Um, I can turn Dragon on and off either by using my power mic or by using custom commands uh, on my keyboard. Uh, I can use the plus sign, the minus sign to turn it on and off. Uh, but typically, we use the power mic for that. In, if you move to the left and the right, you'll see the various settings and tools for Dragon, including the ability to create under the command center. You can add a new auto text. You can create custom commands as well. Um, in addition to a number of advanced features here I won't get into, but you can also use Dragon to play back uh, text and read text back to you so that when an officer creates a report, they can actually read it back to themselves to make sure that it's accurate. So again, at the moment, Dragon is now has a red microphone, uh, meaning it's not listening. What I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce a, uh, an RMS system that we've created just for this purpose. Um, and I'm going to turn Dragon on, and I'll bring you through a sample incident reporting process. Open RMS. So I just turned the microphone off, and you'll see here this is a uh, a very basic RMS system that we created. What I'm going to do is I am going to use my voice to navigate within this RMS and show you, uh, I'll actually read a narrative for a sample incident report. Click incidents. Click link. Choose six. Now, before I proceed, again, you'll see that when I said click link, there were a number of links that came up that were numbered. I chose six for this particular report. So I'm going to go now into the report notes and I'm going to read an actual narrative. Click report notes. On November 21st, comma, 2017, comma, at approximately 10 p.m., comma, I was dispatched to 3191 Oak Street for a suspected burglary, period. I arrived at the address and met with the responding officer who told me that the homeowner, comma, Mr. Fred Brown, comma, returned home from a night out with friends to find his back door smashed in, period. Mr. Brown did not enter the premises, but called the police from his car phone, period. 
Officer Smith searched the home for intruders, period. No intruders were found. However, comma, there was evidence of someone having been in the house, period. I walked through the house with Mr. Brown to identify any missing items, period. Mr. Brown will prepare a completed list with serial numbers and bring it to the station tomorrow afternoon, period. New paragraph. The evidence collection team was called in to take fingerprints and photographs, period. The following evidence was collected, colon. Photographs of the damaged back door frame, period. Photographs of footprints and soft earth near back door, period. Fingerprints taken off of back door frame, period. Fingerprints taken off of kitchen countertops, comma, desktop and study, comma, and chest of drawers and master bedroom, period. So again, I just shut Dragon off, and there is the narrative that was captured uh, all very quickly uh, and very accurately on screen. I'm going to submit our report now. Click submit. And Dragon just submitted, uh, this gives you a, a brief overview, obviously, of what was just submitted. Dragon also can be used, as I mentioned, uh, to look up plate numbers. So I'll give you a very brief demonstration of how that works. Click vehicle. Enter plate. Click plate, enter plate, Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, one, two, three, four. End plate, submit, undo. Enter plate, Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, 1234. Click Submit. And again, you, here we returned a sample record, obviously, of a potential suspect and some basic information uh, on that suspect uh, themselves. So hopefully this gives a very brief idea uh, of how Dragon can be used in the RMS. Uh, we work uh, very closely with the major RMS providers. Uh, and what you know we should point out, and Dragon operates essentially anywhere where there is a cursor in place of your keyboard. So it works in any system, uh, Windows-based system. If you can position a cursor in the Windows-based system, you can actually dictate. And so you really need to think of Dragon as an extension, uh, a replacement, I should say, uh, for the keyboard itself. So let me pause just for a moment. Um, I want to show as well some of the integration uh, and some formatting within Microsoft uh, Office. And I'm going to open up um, a Word document, and I'm going to actually read a sentence, uh, actually a, a couple of paragraphs of the Miranda rights, and show you how it is the Dragon can be used for some formatting as well. So let me reactivate Dragon by clicking on the microphone. Open Microsoft Word. New document. The Miranda Rights. Select Rights. Here you'll see the Dragon you probably just saw momentarily. I just shut the, the uh, microphone off. Dragon presented a list of options. So what I'll do is I'll select Rights again, and you can then see the options. What I want to do is make the R in rights uh, a capital. So 
Select rights. Choose seven. New paragraph. You have the right to remain silent, period. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law, period. You have the right to speak to an attorney, comma, and to have an attorney present during any questioning, period. If you cannot afford a lawyer, comma, one will be provided for you at government expense, period. Select your. Choose two. Have. So here you can see how quickly, quick and easy it is to make corrections within Dragon. I'm going to do some other quick formatting commands as well. Select the Miranda rights. Make it bold. Center that. Make it red. And again, Dragon allows you to make those uh, changes quickly and easily. Insert before write. Choose one. Absolute. Dragon lets you go in and make edits just using your voice with commands. You can move uh, throughout the paragraph. You can insert uh, any words. You can create spellings as well. Select all. Copy that. Here's an example. I just selected all of the text, and Dragon can then take that text and paste it, let's say, into our RMS system. So that gives a, a, a very quick overview of the Dragon product itself. Um, I think it, at this point, what I'd like to do is see if we have any questions on the phone, and, and we can revisit any of what I've just discussed. But let me open it up at the moment for questions.